sure you guys are all familiar with this. This is from out from under the boat. I went sailing yesterday and right launched right from the beach. And I've done this month probably four or five times. And each time I do it, I ground the boat a little bit because I have to run the trolley back up and forth the beach. So sand gets into to the auto baler underneath compartments and um, prevents the mechanism sometime from closing. So when I get back, I'm, I think, oh my gosh, I broke the auto baler again, when really all I had were some sand or some shells or something inside. Um, so something to think about if that's what happens to you, don't take the whole thing out and try to replace it because then you have to get your, you know, your silicone 5200 or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna show you how to install these. I'm gonna show you exactly what to think about when, you, when you're when you buying these little springs inside. You have three options. You have uh, rubber uh, kind of straps that are standard. They come with the auto baler. You have a metal um, kind of spring back too, which is pretty cool. I got that from Rooster. It works really good. It's a stainless steel uh, metal spring. And then the third option are what looks like uh, green and red paper clips on either side here. So I've tried them all three and I can just tell you guys from experience. Check the links in the descriptions below for, for kind of which route you want to take. I'll pull it out. Essentially it's just one screw. Comes out real easy. Once you have it out, or you're going to need to go under and take out your baler plug as well. Once you pull that out, you can slide this out. <clears throat> if, once you get it out, go ahead and clean it out. We take it on the, the beach all the time, so we have a lot of sand. We have a lot of shells and things that can get up under there. This is a kind of like a wire brush, but it's just a, you know, bristle brush it's not going to scratch anything get all the sand out of here if you need to throw some water in there great but whatever you have in there it's going to prevent it from sealing you want to get it out of there okay cool you're going to figure out your spring situation with you're either going to go with the stainless steel plate you're either going to go with the uh, kind of the green and red paper clips or you're just going to go with the rubber bands down um, you're also going to need some 5200 this is uh, essentially for uh, deck hulls, through fittings, or uh, through hulls, things like that. Um, it's not meant to come off, just keep that in mind. There's a 4200 that a lot of people will use as well, um, but uh, this is kind of my, my route. It's pretty easy, guys. All you want to do is take it once you've cleaned it all out. Uh, the new ones are going to come with this little kind of uh, sealer here, like that. So this will go inside, you'll slide that right back in, the auto baler. This will actually go on top like so. I'm going to use the same one I had because I don't have another one. And we'll uh, make sure that seals properly. So we're going to slide the auto baler plug in place. I like to do it when it's closed. So if you can, try to make sure it's closed. Um, you right on top of the hole. A lot of times you can look right down in it and see it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get the screw. Now if you're changing this, say uh, your springs went bad or rubber bands went bad and you pulled this out, you're probably going to have some gunk or some 42 or 5200 on your nails. So make sure you clean all that off as well. Um, so you get some new fresh sealant. I'm going to slide this in here like so. I like to just douse the the screw in it and a lot of times when you screw that forward it'll actually push that seal all the way up too so we give it a little squeeze we get some out here there you go just cover it that's all you need honestly and then once that's in there should be all the sealant you need this stuff's pretty nasty stuff so make sure you have gloves make sure you try not to get it on anything too and if you do that's okay just wipe it up quickly before it dries. If it dries, you are SOL. It takes a lot of time and effort to get off. So make sure when you're going down, your screw's straight. I almost made this problem the other day. And the idea here is to get this flush with the deck. Because any type of friction is going to slow you down. And I wouldn't recommend using an electronic drill. It's too much. You, you might strip it. You don't want to do that. So you'll get down to the end there to, to start to feel some give. And don't overturn it, but or over tighten it, but make sure it's in there. And that's pretty flush. There's a little bit, but um, we're, we're pretty good. Now I had another one where I had to 
bend it because all it is is plastic. So if you bend it one way and then sink it down in there, because once you go real tight on this, it tends to bore out the other sides. So that was the way I found around that. So if you find that you're not getting a nice even seal across, that's probably the problem. You probably should change your auto bailer. If something happened, you probably got a strap underneath or you were sliding it up on something and it caught. Um, or you can try to bend it back. I think we're good, guys. Um, other than you just have to replace the auto bailer plug, which you guys know how to do. You just slide this on. A lot of times if I take a needle nose plier, hold the, the wire and push this on. Let that dry 24 hours. Don't don't even think about getting her wet. I'm taking her out tomorrow, so that's why we're doing it today. Um, but that's the last of the projects. But hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below.